What's going on guys, I'm Marty back at again with the weekly Rust Skins videos and it is indeed the Easter uh, Rust Adam store event happening at the moment. So that's why you're seeing some interesting top sellers, which we have the new chicken costume, which is going for $15.40, currently number one on the top sellers. Egg suit going for $12.35, this is a re-release, currently number two, and the Easter chick hammer going for $3.05 and that is the top three of the top sellers. So nothing new in the general store. Let's have a look at the limited store and we will get started with the clothing. So we have the bunny hat and this is a unique face punch item reskin of the boonie hat. So it does have boonie hat protection. Um, this is a pretty awesome hat because the eyes actually do uh, bubble. So I think that's pretty gangster. Um, but they are cheaper on the community market for $1.89 at the moment. So it's $2.30 on the Russellum store. I'd recommend getting it off of the community market with the buy order um, or just buying it off of the community market in general instead of getting it off the Russellum store because you're going to be able to get it a bit cheaper from there for now. Um, it's a sick hat and if you don't have the boonie hat then I would recommend picking this up because you can't craft, from my understanding, you can't craft a boonie hat without owning a boonie skin. Um, and this one crafts faster if I remember correctly and has the same projectile protection. So uh, worth picking up. All right, moving over to the chicken costume. This is the big boy skin of the week, in my opinion, because this is a new skin from Face Punch, but it is $15.40, so it's a very expensive price point to be starting at. Um, I actually was wearing it at the start of last week's video, and now I'm wearing it again, but the description of this Ross Adam does say an inflatable chicken costume acting as a replacement for wooden pants. You can equip this item um, to look as silly as possible. So it has the projectile protection of wooden pants, which I didn't really realize last week, but I did realize that it had projectile protection, um, which is fat because that means you could wear metal gear with this chicken costume. The only thing I'm not 100% sure on is like if this has the same um, health as a wooden uh, leg legs. Um, or because it's inflatable, if it just gets shot once and then it's it's done, it's gone and has less HP overall, or if it has the same HP, I'm not sure. So I'm going to have to um, investigate that one. Um, $15.40 is a very expensive price point for um, essentially metal, uh, sorry, um, wooden legs. So not really ideal because I know a lot of people aren't really going to want to roam. Um, something that is pretty easily upgraded like the um, the road sign kilt. So I think this is a sick skin. I think it's very meme -y, but unfortunately I think it's very expensive as well. Um, I think there also may be other potential issues with the chicken costume just to keep in mind. So you can roam with it, assuming that it has the same HP as um, wooden uh, leg armor. Um, there is another downside and that definitely isn't its funny noise that it makes, um, which I'll show you at the end of the video if I remember. But it is that, at least last week when I tested this, you couldn't sit down in chairs, which I would also assume means you can't sit down in mini copters, boats, um, horses, whatever, whatever other vehicles um, that plan on coming out into the game, um, whilst wearing the chicken costume. So if you're going to roam with that and you steal someone's mini or something like that, um, you're going to have to take your chicken costume off, which means you're going to have less leg protection, which isn't ideal. But look, if you're not planning on uh, riding any horses, taking helicopters, taking bloody cars, etc., etc., then I think the chicken costume is going to be sick to roam with. I'll be roaming with it, that's for sure, um, especially for PvP, just because I think it's a meme. Hopefully the hitbox isn't, isn't, isn't any bigger, but I'm sure it probably isn't. Um, the only thing I'm worried about at the moment is its HP. Um, whether it gets shot and then it's instantly just done, deflated, or just gone. Um, that is something I'm worried about. Makes a cool noise, um, and I think that people won't be really expecting much when they're inside their base and they hear a chicken costume person running by, um, and you're actually full metal AK. So chicken costume is sick, but $15.40. I'm not going to recommend investing in it off the Russellum store because I think it's going to go down in price once it leaves Russellum store and goes to the community market. But... That doesn't mean I won't recommend investing in it. Wait for the chicken costume to go down in price on the community market, then place a buy order, pick it up for cheaper on the community market with a buy order once it's gone down in price, and then sell it um, before it comes out on the 22nd of the 3rd next year. 
um, because this is definitely something that's going to re-release for the next Easter store. I wouldn't be surprised if this chicken costume stayed in for two weeks. Um, and so I do think that you will be able to get it for cheaper off of the community market with a buy order. So that is what I recommend to do. All right, moving over to the Easter hoodie and Easter pants, both going for a dollar and fifty-five cents each, which is a good price because it's actually standard store price. Um, we have road sign gear already accepted in the game for this set, um, but look, unfortunately, I think this set is not going to have any demand. Once it leaves the some store and goes to the community market, I'm sure the road sign gear doesn't have any demand either, but it probably has gone up slightly in price because the Easter hoodie and pants have come out. Um, but I really don't think even them would have um, great English, but I don't think they would have uh, increased by that much either, simply because I don't think the demand is there. Um, one little nitpick about this hoodie, I really do not like the zipper on the front of it. I think it's fugly. Um, but besides that, yeah, like cool melting chocolate, clothing, whatever, not going to have really any demand. Um, and so I'm not going to recommend investing in either of them, even though they are standard store price of $1.55 each, which is definitely a plus. Alrighty, moving over to the egg suit going for $2.35. This is a face punch item that is the replacement of what? I'm pretty sure it's the replacement of bone armor. Correct me in the, uh, in the comments if I'm, if I'm wrong with that one, but I'm pretty sure it's a bone armor. So this came out last year. Um, the description on this one, if you really want me to read it, is an extremely silly egg suit, which you can paint anything on, um, uh, and it was released publicly in 2023. So actually I've just realized the egg suit, I'm pretty sure was accidentally, um, added to boxes before Easter last year. And then it was unboxed by some lucky people and some people sold it for like a grand, um, but of course, since it released on the Rustam store and it's now $12.35, um, those people aren't selling the, their skins for a grand anymore. But some people actually had their egg suit before um, it was released on the Rustam store. So that's a fun cheeky little fact for you that I just remembered. Um, the egg suit you can paint. So it does have a lot less. I'm pretty sure this is for um, a replacement of the bone armor. So it has the same projectile. Um, uh, protection as the bone armor, if I remember correctly, but it's head to toe instead of having to make a, a bone helmet and bone armor. So um, the one bad thing about the egg suit is that its HP is actually less than the armor it's replacing, which I'm pretty sure is the bone armor. Um, so that means it does break faster, but the benefit of the egg suit, and even though it's such a mean looking skin, is that you can actually paint the whole shell to be green or, you know, like tan or white. Um, depending on the environment you're in, you can actually make the egg suit more of a camouflage grub kind of skin. Um, so I do think that that actually is beneficial. And I do think that it has a semi pay to win aspect there um, on top of the fact that you're going to have better projectile protection overall um, as a uh, early white prim kind of gear. Um but it is $12.35 on the Rust Adam store and there's $9.58 on the community market. So same thing that I just recommended with the like with the chicken outfit, chicken costume, is that just wait for the egg suit to go down in price on the community market. Um, once it's gone down um, in price on the community market, then place a buy order for cheaper than what it's going for. Get it for cheaper, and then of course sell it when it comes back around to the Rustam store um, in Easter, which will happen. Because um, of course that is when it goes back to uh, on the community market. The price goes back to trying to climb back towards the Rustam store price because people are buying it off of the community market because it's cheaper. Um, but then um, because the quantity of them are reducing, the price is going up. So supply and demand simply. Um, all right, so that is all the clothing on page one, and we've got page two clothing as well. So we have the nest hat going for $5.40. This is the same as the bunny hat um, that I was just talking about, $5.40. What was the bunny hat? Uh, the bunny hat is $2.30. So I think the nest hat honestly is like a more unique, cooler skin, but the fact that it's $5.40 and the nest hat is $2.30 and they're the same thing, um, I do think that 
it's not really ideal. I don't think the Nest Hat's going to have that much demand in comparison. Um, I think they're going to be very similar and the Nest Hat is quite a lot more expensive. So the good thing about the Nest Hat, it is more expensive on the community market because it is more expensive on the Rust Adam store. So if you do own it, um, then you can sell it for more, but that is um, also because you probably spend more buying it. Nest Hat is a pretty sick skin, um, but I'm going to just give you the same advice as what I just did with the bunny hat, chicken costume, and and the um, the egg suit. So just follow the same advice for that. Um, all right, moving over to the Sweet Treat Burlap Pants and the Sweet Treat Burlap Shirt. Both going for $1.55 each. I think this is going to be the cheapest um, burlap gear on the community market once the leaves are us on store. Um, and I don't really think it's going to have any demand. Check what the... Um, burlap shirts and the burlap pants are going for the cheapest versions of each. Um, if they're cheaper than this burlap gear, then I wouldn't recommend getting this burlap gear. I'm pretty sure there is cheaper burlap on the Russell M store than this. Um, but the, if there isn't cheaper burlap gear than this on the Russell M store, I will recommend getting it, but I'm pretty sure there is cheaper stuff. So um, overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in them off the Russell Adams store. Righty, moving over to the weapons, we have the Carrot Blaster SAR going for $3.05. Um, by the way, you've got to commend me that I do all of this in one take with no um, with no script. So I think we've had the Carrot Blaster um, weapon skins before because it looks super familiar with the carrots being in the magazine. But overall, I do really like that the carrots are in the magazine. I think the artwork on the body of the SAR looks quite cool. I think the ADS looks cool enough. Um, there's only so much you can do with carrots. Um, but I don't think it's going to have... Uh, any demand once it leaves the uh, Rust Adam store and goes to the community market. The only time anyone would ever want to actually cop this skin is to play with it during Easter, um, which means I don't think it's going to have enough demand for it to go above the $3.05 um, that it's currently selling for on the Rust Adam store. So overall, not going to recommend investing in the Carrot Blaster SAR off of the Rust Adam store for this week. And we'll move over to the Chocolate Hunter MP5 going for $3.05 and it's still price of weapons and tools again. Um, uh, made by MDA, so this one has a great ADS. MDA is really good at making um, ADSs actually good. So MDA made all like the most of the glow sight um, weapons back in the day, and what else? Bloody blackout, which has always got good ADSs. So anyway, either way, my point is the Chocolate Hunter MP5 does have it have a good red ADS pretty clear um, but in saying that it isn't the same ads as the uh, mp5 skin that we got two weeks ago and some mp5 skins that we've had for free off of twitch drops which have the pay to win cut out mp5 um, where it's missing part of the back um, site so overall i don't think even if it had the cutout, i don't think that this really would have a demand once it leaves the rust hamster and goes to the community market because no one really cares about the chocolate um, Easter themed stuff unless it's Easter, um, which of course it is not Easter for most of the year. So not going to recommend investing in the Chocolate Hunter MP5. I don't think it's going to have any demand once it leaves Russell Hamster and goes to the community market. So not going to recommend investing in it. Moving over to the Easter Chick Hammer. This is going for $3.05. It is currently in the top sellers. It was at number three. So... Um, it's not glomming or anything. It's literally just a little baby chicken. It's a cool little meme, unique hammer, but we already have plenty of cool, probably memey and unique hammers in the game. Um, this one does continue a set now because it has the sheet metal door, but I don't think that it's going to have enough demand to go above the $3.05, especially when we're probably going to have some more Twitch events sometime soon, and there's probably definitely going to be a free hammer skin um, in that event. So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Easter Chick Hammer. If you want to try and pick it up, I'd recommend getting it off of the community mark with a buy order. Um, but the Easter Chick Hammer skin creator made a really cool screenshot with the um, character holding onto the chicken hammer um, whilst wearing the chicken costume and having another person behind with the egg outfit. I actually think it's a cool screenshot. Um, all right. I think that is okay. And then we have the Happy Easter AR going for $3.85. So that is um, above Stanislaw price for weapons and tools, which is not ideal because there already wasn't going to be 
demand for this AR um, slash AK, but now there's going to be even less because it's more expensive on the Rassam store. So congratulations, Face Punch. You've kind of just jibbed the skin creator of extra sales. So um, the body of the AK is cool. I like the artwork on it. Um, it does say Happy Easter on the magazine, but quite frankly, I just think it is too Eastery. Um, it is uh, too specific of a skin, and so it's going to be another one of those skins that only has demand during Easter time, but even then, I don't think it's going to have demand. So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Happy Easter AR. Once this skin leaves Rust Adam store and goes to the community market, it will be forgotten in my opinion. Um, it does have cool artwork on the body, but I don't think it's going to generate any demand. So not going to recommend investing in the Happy Easter AR. Bit of a savage um, one there, but it is what it is. Then we go to the Easter door wreath, going for a dollar and fifty-five cents. Apparently, it's going for seventy-seven cents on the community market. I think that is a mistake, but um, if it is, then I recommend getting it off of the community market instead. Um, currently, there hasn't been like any exploits or glitches with the door wreaths that I'm aware of. That is the only time they would ever really go up in value if there was a exploit. So I'm not going to recommend investing in the Easter door wreath. If there is an exploit anytime soon, um, these of course will go up in price as would any other item that had an uh, exploit or advantageous uh, thing before it got patched by Face Punch. So not going to recommend investing in the Easter door wreath off of the Rust Adam store, but I do like to use the wreaths every now and then as a little role play. Moving over to the, I think this is the final skin of the week. Yes, it is. We have the Easter Neon Large Box. So this is a glowing deployable, going for $3.95. So that's about center store price for glowing deployables. And it's just another Easter themed skin. It's not really a surprise. It's not a shock horror. I will say I do like that they've added, the skin creator has added a, um, a little design at the end on the play skin side of the um, boxes. Um, but I also like the fact that they made it a carrot instead of an Easter egg because that kind of does make it so that if you are using it as a play skin, then you kind of can just use it as a food play skin box um, for you to put like your farming food in and stuff like that. So like pumpkins, potatoes, whatever else there is in this game. So um, either way, I don't think it's going to have enough demand. Once it leaves the Rust Adam store and goes to the market, so I'm not going to recommend investing in the Easter Neon Large Box off the Rust Adam store. Um, that is it for this week, guys. Right, guys, that was indeed not the final skin of the week. The final skin of the week actually is the egg door made by Odyssey. And this cheeky little chicken looks like he was pretty sad that um, she was upset. Correct me if I'm wrong with that one. Um, but this is what the egg door is looking like. And there is no glow for this cheeky little bugger. Um, but it is, of course, a nice, cool, unique uh, door skin. But look, this is another one of those door skins that I just don't think is going to have any demand um, once it leaves the right side of the store and goes to the community market. Although I will say those eyes are rather adorable, especially with the light um, shining on them. So overall, not going to recommend investing in the egg door. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video.